katika video hii tuta, tutamalizia kipengele kilichobakia cha uh, shortest job fest lakini tutaangalia kwa nani preemption kwenye video ambayo imetoka kama ulitazama uh, tuliona uh, preemption kwamba process inaweza kaingia katika execution lakini anytime inaweza katolewa uh, pale ambapo itakuja process ambayo uh, ina burst time ndogo ukikompia na ile ambayo current ina execute uh, of course ile ambayo ina execute itafanywa uh, preemption uh, itatolewa itapelekwa ita, ita katika katika ram so leo tutaangalia namna ya ku, ku, kufanya calculations ya hizi haya maswali mawili ambayo yenyewe ni uh, non preemption lengo la kutumia hiyo hiyo uh, shortest job first so tutaanza na swali namba mbili so nachukua swali namba mbili ili hapa na hapa nimelicopy na kuja ku paste hapa so swali namba mbili hili hapa lakini unaona yenyewe alina alina arrival time uh, of course tumeanza na hili alina arrival time so hapa nitakuja kuandika solution solution ya yeah, of course itaka hapa so inatumika gant chart kuweza ku kuonyesha timeline of course tushazungumzia haya kwenye video iliyotoka so nakuja kwenye insert kwa sababu natumia just microsoft world kwa ajili ya kuchora hiyo a uh, simple gant chart just to expand this okay so uh, endapo hakuna arrival time kwenye question kama mapapa swali hakuna arrival time basi unafata mtiririko ufuatao unaangalia process ambayo ina smaller burst time burst time ni time ambayo CPU itahitaji kwenye kwenye processor kwenye kufanya execution kwa hiyo hapa tuangalie kwamba process ya kwanza ku arrive kwamba ime arrive katika time gani kwa sababu time yenyewe hayupo hamna time hapo So na just kusema tu uh, process hii ambayo ina bus time ndogo ni process 4. Of course nitaandika pa AP4. So just kija ni kuinsect hapa uh, just draw table. Na just ni, ni draw hizi. Uh, so just draw it. Okay, so process 4 yenyewe uh, ime katika time ya 0 yenyewe ndio imeanza kuingia. So ita execute mpaka mpaka bus time ya mpaka pale itapomalizika. Kumbuka hii ni non preemption. Process mpaka imalize execution. Kwa hiyo mpaka ile bus time yake iishe. Sasa ndio. Itaweza kuondolewa katika process. Na kuondolewa maana yake ina inamaliza ina, ina termination kabisa. Inafuata process 1 so just wanaandika hapa process 1. So process 1 inachukua sita bus time. So itamaliza kwenye muda gani kwenye tisa kwa sababu uh, tatu imesha sita of course kujumlisha hizo napata tisa yeah. inafuata process 3 so just write process 3 uh, process 3 yenyewe itachukua 7 kwa kama ni 7 au uh, kujumlisha hapo unapata uh, 16 inayofuata itakuwa ni ya mwisho process 2 so naandika tu hapa p2 P2 itachukua nane So unachukua 16 unajumlisha nane au just 16 plus hiyo hapo nane unapata 24. So na just kuiandika hapa 24. So kwa sababu hii ni ya mwisho basi nitaisogeza mpaka kule kwenye kona kabisa kule kule mwisho kabisa kule. Ma ni hapa, kozi hapa. So nitaandika 24. Sorry. 24. Afu hii hapa nitaifuta pamoja kwenye design mimi natumia natumia world counter nitakuwa nimefuta kwa style kama hii. Basi hapo nitakuwa nime nimemaliza ku, ku, ku kuchora hiyo gant chart yangu. Kinachofuata ni average waiting time. Kwanza ku calculate average waiting time ni very simple. So average waiting time unazichukua zile uh, process to the to the left as of course kwa zile uh, process katika process unachukua number to the left. Unachukua number to the left unachukua 0, una plus 3, una plus 9, una plus 16. Unagawanya una, hiyo of course 24 just ni. Ni kwa kwa na edit 24 imetupwa imetupwa mbali so just ni rejeshe katika hali ya mara kwanza. So uh, simply maana yake ni kwamba utajumlisha hizo utagawa kwa idadi. Idadi yenyewe process tuponga tuponga vizipo nne. So tatu jumlisha tisa jumlisha 16 divide by 4 utapata average waiting time. 
So hiyo ni swali la kwanza of course nimejua kwa stare kama hiyo. So kuja kwenye swali jingine um, question number 1 ili kwa ni swali la pili ili swali la kwanza of course. Question number 1 kuja kuliweka hapo kuna kesi imeongezeka uh, kesi iliyoongezeka hapo ni kwamba kuna arrival time. So just copy it. Ili gandi chat kwa ajili ya kuja kuitumia hapa. Okay so uh yes on foot is data uh yes on foot is data so kesi hapa kidogo inakuwa yenyewe ni tofauti kwa sababu uh tayari shapewa na arrival time kwa process ya kwanza kwa 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 siri kwenye kwenye red queue kwenye job queue ndio itakuwekwa kwenye kwenye processor ip process 1 so just put it p1 yani ndio iliyokuepo kwenye red queue kwa wakati huo p1 hii inahitajia 6 basti millisecond of course itakuja kuweka hapa uh, ita execute kuanzia 0 itaenda mpaka mpaka 6 itakuwa na hii so p1 itakuwa imemaliza ku execute kinachofuata badala ya hapo basi ni ile process ambayo ina uh, bus time dogo so bus time dogo maana yake hapa ni process 4 just write process 4 process 4 ina inahitaji 3 a uh, bus time so tatu jumlisha sita inakuwa ngapi inakuwa a tisa just weka tu tisa hapo basi uh, process 4 itamaliza execution uh, inakuja kwa process 4 tayari na one tayari baki 2 na 3 ipi yenye ndogo yenye ndogo ni 3 so na just kuandika hapo process 3 itachukua muda gani 3 itachukua 7 okay hapa maana yake ukijumlisha hapo utapata kumina inamalizikia process 1 uh, 2 p2 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 inachukua muda gani 8 uh, so ki plus hii tukiiweka huko inakuwa ni 24 8 jumlisha 16 napata 24 so just kuweka huko mwisho kabisa 24 so baada ya hapo basi uh, of course hii ni marudio kwa sababu tulishazungumza ya mambo kwa hapo ta calculate uh, what inaitwaje completion time na kuzi hapo ta calculate to the right uh, naitwa hiyo turn around time uh, uh, sorry uh, turn around time again hapo ta calculate nini uh, ta calculate uh, waiting time and then mwisho kabisa uh, ta calculate uh, nini ile response alert response time Of course na marudio tu kwa completion time ya process 1 we just take this one it will be 6 process 2 will be 24 process 3 will be 16 process 4 will be 9 unachukua ile time to the to the right turn around time ni sawa sawa na completion time minus arrival time so hapo unapata sita nane uh, 24 tu moja just unapata 23 eh afu hapa 14 uh, na hapa unapata ngapi unapata 6 waiting time ni sawa sawa na turn around time na bust au uh, kwa 6 ukitoa kwa 6 iko to 0 uh, 23 ukitoa 8 sana so na 23 23 8 unapata 15 so itakuwa ni 15 alafu 14 ukitoa 7 of course ni 7 hiyo hiyo 6 ukitoa 3 unapata 3 is any response time unachukua uh, time to the to the left of the process unatoa kwa arrival time ya process usika process one time to the left ni 0 0 mara 0 equal to 0 just put 0 process 4 2 sorry basa nini point process 2 process 2 ni uh, ni 16 ya hapo 16 maana arrival time iko tu cha kuzingatia kwenye non preemption waiting time na response time lazima ziwe sawa lazima ziwe sawa as always kuna sehemu ndio umekosea process 3 ni 9 9 9 ukitoa 2 unapata 7 yes put ya 7 alafu process 4 um nasoma kwa pin process 4 hii hapo ni ni 9 ah sorry ni 6 6 manazi 3 um, unapata 3 alafu unatafuta average so now nikija ku 
adding another so nije kwenye design so nije kwenye so this takuwa ni average so now average ya turn around the time ni sawa sawa na sita jumlisha shina tatu jumlisha kumina nene jumlisha sita unagawa kwa idadi alafu average uneka hapo hiyo takuwa ni average ya turn around time na hiyo takuwa ni average ya waiting time unajumlisha hizi unagawa kwa idadi ilo kwepo hapo na hiyo takuwa ni average ya response time so hiyo ndo namu nambavo unaweza uka unaweza uka unaweza uka uka sovu hawe maswari so ukujumlisha hizi basti time inatakua ikulete hapo 24 ma yani inatakua ikulete hizi 24 muda ambao execution is out and of course nilakwe fanani na hapa yee fanani na hapa lakini waiting na response nilakwe fanani lakini kwenye preemption ni waiting na response ni very different ya azwezi kufanana azwezi kufanana so hivu ndo namu nambavu unawezo kwa just kusovu masali haya kama haya ni just a very simple tunasema kwa mba siku zote katika computer ram ni limited na processor lazima iwe utilized ye yeah? sababu bila kufanya utilization matumizi ya computer takuwa ni magumu lazima processor ikiwa idle yani itaki kuwa idle processor as well uh, kwa mfano tufanya processor ipo katika hali ambayo kwamba ni idle yani ile uh, scheduling iliyowekwa pale ya logarithm ni scheduling ambayo hai utilize processor kwa hiyo unategemea kwamba nikifungua Microsoft World kama hii siwezi kufungua program nyingine tena mpaka ni close. Kwa close maana yake imemaliza execution kwenye processor inaondolewa. Ndio naweza nikafungua program nyingine kama vile calculator. Sasa hiyo computer itakuwa inatumika vipi kwa sababu inafungua program moja at a time. Lakini multi programming kwamba multiple programs zina run katika at the same time. Maana yake CPU ina zihendo zote na inaziwekea time kwa hivi uh, ni kitu ambacho kinafanyika very fast uwezo kugundua sasa uwezo kugundua kama hii imeondolewa katika processor uwezo kugundua na nini uwezo kugundua na inapokuwa imeondolewa katika maishi katika processor sio kwamba hii ina, ina, inafungwa hii inakuwa hivi inaonekana lakini sometime kama kuja kuiklick inaandika not responding sometime na kuanzito ku high respond kama vile unavyotegemea paka pale itakapoarejesha katika execution <coughs> 